Hi guys, welcome back. Got a real quick episode for you, relatively. Um, I got a uh, note uh, on my first part one of the uh, video for the animal farm and uh, from uh, Clinton G and he suggested putting the lava uh, one block up instead of where I have it at the uh, at the water level itself. So I tried that in my uh, test world and it seemed to work so we're gonna give it a shot. I was wor I was thinking it wouldn't work because uh, it wouldn't be low enough to get the pigs and the uh, chickens they just go right over it but it seems to uh, seems to work on them so let's uh, try it here. We're just gonna collect the lava lift it up by one block and then uh, that is it. And then we're going to jump over here and uh, do the same thing to these two. And then we'll go uh, and idle for 10 minutes and uh, see if it's uh, comparable or better to uh, the way we had it before. So we'll put this one one block up. And then one more to do. that out, collect the lava, fill in that space below and oops and basically what this does I don't think I mentioned this yet is that uh, supposedly will help reduce the uh, the amount of drops that are uh, burnt up by the lava since the lava is a little bit higher and the animals are lower um, there's less of a chance that the uh, drop could pop right into that corner and get burnt up so we'll uh, give that a shot and uh, see how well that works. Oops. Alright guys, I made a few changes here uh, off camera. Um, I've taken out uh, most of the sand as you can see just to kind of reduce the spawns here on the island. Left a little bit of backyard here. Um, I don't mind a few of them hanging out but uh, it was just getting ridiculous. And uh, that uh, hopefully has uh, improved the spawn rate and I've also you can tell I moved my collection area away from the farm I think um, we were getting too close to the uh, farm and it was reducing the amount of spawns um, I'll have to verify this but I think it's because of that same 24 block radius sphere rule that you have to be so far away um, before uh, the mobs spawns, I thought it was the hostiles only, but I guess apparently it's the uh, friendlies as well. Guess that's what it seems like. So by moving the uh, the collection area out here, it seems to have vastly improved the uh, spawn rate combined with having less grass and. Um, and also moving the lava up um, in the uh, kill floor. That all that combined, I think, has uh, uh, improved the the efficiency of this trap. So I think we're doing pretty damn good here. I'm gonna do one last uh, idle here. And uh, see how much we get in 10 minutes. Let me get rid of all my stuff. And uh, have to have to throw away uh, all these pork chops because I got a full one, and I don't want to run upstairs at the moment. We'll have a hell of a lot more here. In few minutes, so let's get rid of these. Ah, get rid of them fast right. enough. I've uh, reset the uh, timer. Get over the fence. There we go. Alright, so I'll just go there. Start there. 
So we'll go for 10 minutes and uh, and see what happens. It's almost been 10 minutes, and I would call that a definite improvement over what we had before. We have more pork chops than we could ever use. So uh, I think I'm going to stop improving it. So I really don't want it any more efficient than this because I don't have any place to put all this stuff. So thanks again to uh, everybody who suggested improvements. And uh, we'll do a couple f more finishing touches. Kind of round it out a little bit, but I think we're done with it. Nice and convenient to our base. Rather efficient. And uh, pretty, pretty good. Alright, thanks for watching, guys.